My name is Ifedayo Afolabi. I've been married since 2021 to Sean Afolabi, aka the storyteller, who is a filmmaker, a director, a producer in the Nollywood space. Knowing fully well that he's into the film industry, I knew what I was getting into and I didn't mind. The marriage has been good. We have a way we deal with our issues and we resolve it amicably. We don't go to bed with um, grudges. Never. It has never happened. I would say I'm happy in my marriage. I think I would have regretted it more if I had ended up with any other person aside my husband. One of the benefits of being the wife of a filmmaker is, um, I don't know, you get this, I don't know if I should say it's accolades when you meet people in his space, even people bigger than him, and you have opportunity to maybe have and shake or they will say, ah, mama, thank you for taking care of, and you know, when you, you feel, you feel like, wow, I'm the one meeting this person that every other person has just been seeing on screen, and they are greeting you like you are one of them because you are the wife of one of them. People like um, Jayakuti will see me and they will, ah, mama. People like Jidia Obono, people like Akiola Kou, and that um like dire slides and more of them like that and i could remember too when i was we were having our wedding a lot of people did not really know me no even my friends they didn't know the kind of person i was getting married to i remembered my makeup artist yes she was at first not feeling at home being saucy kind of but when she saw my husband's friends and she was like wow i think this is on another level she just placed me from here to here and she was giving me that accolade and that respect that she has not been given in night before. So those are the kind of um, benefits I also get from people when they know that I'm a wife of um, a storyteller, a filmmaker. If you are the uh, 247 attention seeker, you might not want to have a filmmaker as a husband because they don't have all the time in the world. But the responsible ones out of them still create that time in no time, even when they are working. Like my husband now, whenever he's on set, even if it is at night, sometimes I'm at her even slept on, he will still drop a beep to know if I'm still awake. Then if he figures I'm already sleeping, he might drop some notes for me. Or if I'm still awake, he will call, will still make those um, night video calls and normal calls to check on the family. So um, to be a wife of a filmmaker, you need to be able to compromise to some extent with them. Although they too, they have job to do, they also need to compromise and sacrifice some time, even with no time. Also, he's a kind of person that if he's not on any project, if he's at home, his attention is at home and with his family. Not the ones that even when they are free from projects, they just go out no he, he will stay at home with you do have all the fun together so that alone has um has made me to uh, has made me happy like making us uh, feel his presence anytime he's around and um the issue of um him being around girls women uh boobs <laughs> and everything um well, Yoruba will say, we shall just make you be real. See, honestly, I get jealous. The, the, let me be factual. I get jealous of those times, but because mine is still, um, uh, manageable because he works behind the camera. He's not the one you see him on camera kissing or smooshing or having this and that with ladies. So, but I know that ladies, um, Ladies go after him. Women go after him. But then, this life is just like that, Jerry. Once The thing is, once the man is disciplined enough to not to cross, uh, disciplined enough not to cross boundary, well, he has been doing that. And no, <laughs> I don't know if anyone can trust a man 100%. But then to some extent, I know he's keeping his boundaries. My advice to women whose um, husband are always away, be it in the film industry or not, is that you need to, you, you are like, they say women are pillars of their home, but when your husband is a type that goes away for some period of time, you are the strong pillar of your home. Even when um, 
they are not they are absent minded even sometimes that they are at home they are still absent minded you need to um find a way to bring them back and also another thing you need to do is they will say that uh don't leave the man like saying mm, he has gone Jerry, whenever he comes and he comes please check up on them let them feel that you are now i'm not saying you should monitor them but let them always feel your presence in their life even when they are not at home when they are away working don't just forget them don't just neglect them once you neglect them then there is a crack in that space then it allows them to have this free um free movement of doing what they are not supposed to do so you need to support them emotionally too like help them to remember you help them to remember your home and that is how i have been doing mine and another thing is when it comes to the financial um side for my husband now okay it is you know the the job is this seasonal kind of thing you need to have something tangible you are doing to help your husband when the jobs are not coming and when the jobs comes make sure they drop it in a hefty way i wouldn't say he has much now but one thing i know him for is is the best at what he does so I don't, I know one day is going to get there. Even with the projects that he has done, they are standard projects that can compete anywhere with other big filmmakers. That future is still there. The, the fire is still burning. But I know one day it's going to blow. Bah!